Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 7th, but keep in mind that the timing is still fluid, and not every reading is for you, so let's just see what comes up. What do we have for a message today? I'm actually recording this in the morning, and I'll, and I'll release it tonight because I have things to do today. So what do we have for a message today for around the 7th? Keep in mind the timing is really fluid, okay? Typically these readings tend to play out a few days later, you know. Uh, yeah, so. What do we have for a message today? Queen of Pentacles. So we have the Queen of Pentacles here, the Queen of Pentacles. It looks like she's got something of value in her hands. She's got some 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 something stable. Okay, that's that's stability, it's security, uh, something real. flipped out eight of wands that's messages moving forward very very fast that's that's a lot of messages coming back and forth so we have a queen of pentacles here so this person is very grounded very practical responsible hard working looks like she's got something stable maybe she secured something because that is security there more and more and more and more with this eight of wands this is increasing increasing opportunities perhaps or messages or something like that A hermit reverse right behind her now the hermit is about loneliness um, coming out of hiding reconnecting, uh, socializing. There's going to be some socializing going on with these or communication messages, triumphant news arriving, good news. This is positive news arriving for this queen of pentacles. Mm, could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also, uh, yes, yeah, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but it looks, things doesn't have to be. This is whoever this person is that is going to be receiving some good news this person is stable. This person has a lot to offer, knows their value. The Queen of Pentacles is the Queen of Value, right? Because Pentacles are about value. Now it's interesting because we have the Four of Swords. I was going to clarify the Hermit reversed, and I got the Four of Swords. Now that is feeling empty inside uh this is the death of a situation it's the end maybe it's the end of loneliness because i mean that looks like a death right that looks like a casket to me and i know people don't want to hear about that but you know if you don't want to hear about that then <laughs> move on anyhow um four of swords is uh there's obviously been some heartbreak because three of swords comes before that there's been some grieving over a loss, introspection, taking a time out, being alone. I feel like this is the end of a situation where there's been isolation. You know, it's the, there's been a time out, obviously. There's been a, it's been a time of rest and, and re-identification, but I feel like it is the end of that. You know, this this time alone in the uh, has caused somebody to learn their value or something like that because the Queen of Pentacles is the Queen of Values. So we have, but and she's holding on to the goal, a golden opportunity. She's a, she has some sort of opportunity right in her hands. Uh, hmm. Four of Swords. That is in the past. So I feel like it's in the past. I feel like we have somebody here that has been healing because both those cards are healing. The Hermit and the Four of Swords. They are. This is isolating themselves to reflect and, you know, uh, 
heal from some sort of heartache because of that three of swords that came before it. So yeah, somebody's been healing, but I feel like it's I feel like they've reached a point where they know their value. Mm -hmm. Ooh, there's competition here. Absolutely, there is. Five of Wands, okay? We got some competition going on. Uh oh, there's a competition of some sort. Conflict, fight, battle. The star upright. So we have a star here. We have a star, somebody that is shining, somebody that is glowing. This is a wish being granted. This is a new purpose. It is a renewal. This is getting, somebody is getting what they asked for. Um, shining. We have somebody here that is shining very, very brightly. There's some sort of guidance here as well. Somebody is, is guided to come out of hiding because this is underneath the Hermit reversed. It's time to shine. They're shining now. Five of Wands is a conflict, a competition, some sort of battle. There's some sort of competition here. Right next to that Eight of Wands. Now that's more and more and more messages, communication, competition, a lot of competition. There is a lot of competition. We have somebody here in that Ace of, she, Queen of Pentacles holding the Ace of Pentacles, which is the manifestation. It's a yes. So somebody's about to get something that they asked for. This is the end of some sort of battle as well. A wish is being granted. Your wish is being granted. That Queen of Pentacles has manifested something because the Ace of Pentacles manifestation. Somebody has manifested something. Woo! Couldn't control at that time. Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is happiness. It is fulfillment. This is a blessing. This is the storm is over. Uh, so somebody is about to, we've been talking about this happiness a lot. Somebody has been praying with that star card and wishing and hoping for a relationship happily ever after. You know, the answer is yes with that. Somebody's about to get their wish. There is happiness here. A lot of happiness. It's the end of, uh, a situation where there's been isolation this is coming out of isolation reconnecting socializing and a lot of competition here just saying anyhow uh, there is a happiness that is right around the corner Chariot reverse. Now that is a stop. It is uh, opposition. There's fear. There's fear that's not going any. Something is uh, stalled. There's a delay. There's been some sort of delay because of the competition. And I just had the Queen of Wands in reverse on the bottom of the deck. There, and, and I'm putting it right underneath that competition card. There's been a delay because of the competition. But I feel like there's another person that has caused, I don't know, this This is some, the, the Queen of Wands in reverse, that's lack of confidence. Maybe this person just didn't have confidence or, or willpower or determination or drive or ambition or courage or they were scared. There's fear here, there's fear, there's fear of the competition maybe, fear of something. Or they were in some sort of situation where they were stuck. They couldn't go. They couldn't make any moves. 
chariot reversed is a delay it's not going anywhere somebody has been wishing and hoping and praying for happiness they've been stuck in a situation where there's a lot of battles of some sort They've been stuck in some, I don't know if it's a marriage or a partnership or a foundation where there's no happiness, but this is the party is over. It's a messy situation, trying to clean up this mess. So we have a messy situation that I believe is coming to an end. We have this Four of Swords and the Ten of Cups together. So this is the end of a um, situation where there's a lot of emptiness and there's a lot of loneliness okay there's loneliness here but i feel like it's the end of loneliness somebody is uh, you know the star card is a card of a blessing in disguise after the tower falls because it comes after the tower so there's an event that happens and then help arrives you know this is the blessing this is the reason that didn't work out we have a broken engagement here or you know a marriage that isn't working out or a commitment that isn't there's no future there's no victory in this commitment there's a lot of fighting there has been with another person okay with another person there's in communication is about to increase for this stable solid individual she's about or she or he is about to re I think it's a she I'm just gonna be honest with you if I thought it I, I will tell you what I think completely you guys already know that I do believe that um, we have a woman that is going to be receiving communication a lot of it uh, could be from several people just saying it absolutely could be okay we could I mean that is communication we got a bunch of players here hopefully they're not all players anyhow um, and then we get the Queen of Pentacles which is up here so uh, actually it was right here so anyway uh, this Queen of Pentacles is going to be receiving a bunch of communication okay she is it actually went like this Okay, let's get it right here. Okay, I well, like this. Because that was right underneath the Queen of Pentacles. So this com this Queen of Pentacles is going to be receiving a lot of communication. I feel like it's from a bunch of people. Um, or, you know, there's there's some sort of game that is being played. Or there's been a lot of players in this situation the chariot reversed is uh there could be an outburst ahead okay there could be an emotional outburst ahead we have somebody here that uh may be in some sort of conflict with themselves about doing something because they're scared they're scared they may be scared of this one, you know, when, you know, what's really interesting is a lot, and I'm, I'm going to say this, a lot of people aren't going to like it, but I say that all the time, you know, I say stuff people don't like, so I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with that. Anyhow, uh, men do not like weak women or vice versa, you know, so I think that in this queen of pentacles is obviously very, knows her as the queen of value. So I think that, uh, you know, we have somebody here that is in a state of conflict because they're dealing with a person that knows their value, you know, and that is a problem sometimes. It is. Um, sometimes a, ma a man wants, and if you think about the Queen of Wands in reverse, that's a weak, no offense, I'm not, I'm just saying, the, the Queen of Wands in the upright is very strong. It's a card of strength. What's the opposite of strength? Weak. Okay, so don't don't get don't get all triggered if you're the Queen of Wands. I'm telling you what the card means. Okay, so there is uh, some, and that's a weak individual. That's somebody that is weak. So in the reversed, okay, it doesn't matter what sign you are. Okay, that's somebody that is weak. So I think that we have somebody here that has been weak and they have learned their value. Okay. Um, but there's a delay in an approach because this this person knows their value, okay? 
So that's the way it goes. Um, but this, and, and everybody wants the queen of value because she's abundant, okay? I mean, you want a weak woman who doesn't have self-confidence and self-determination and no drive and no ambition and or do you want a woman that knows her value and worth and can give you something solid stable and real so anyway um the other one might be a little bit more attractive but there's no staying power because they don't have the confidence Anyhow, I do see wish fulfillment that is coming. And and the Queen of Pentacles can be anybody. It can be any sign. Okay? Just saying. We have somebody here that is having a hard time getting in the driver's seat. They're having a hard time taking the lead because they probably know there's some competition. And they know this person has value. There is happiness right around the corner. Somebody is a star and they are about to, they're shining, they're glowing, their wish is being granted and it is beautiful, okay? There, we have a wish that is being granted here. Major completion of a cycle. Lesson learned. There's your lesson learned. Okay, one of our life lessons is strength. One of our life lessons is self-love. One of our life lessons is self-worth. We got many more, but that's just a few. So somebody has learned a lesson from a journey that they had to go on. Now that they've completed that lesson, it's time to step into the next. So, ooh, look at the, on the bottom, the lovers, unexpected choice in love. This, this is like an, a soulmate connection, a new love, a Cupid. This is an angel bringing two people together. The, the, these people are kindred spirits. They have a lot in common. This is a soulmate card, potential soulmates, meant to be. We have two people that are being brought together at this time. This is a new beginning. This is the end of one chapter and the beginning of a new one. So we've been, this is, this story is playing out, okay? It's been playing out for a while now, okay? So this is, this is a major accomplishment. A lesson has been learned. Unexpected choice in love. This, this is like... There could be somebody that is traveling. They are traveling towards a soulmate. Um, this is leaving the past behind. A lesson has been learned. This is about love. It is. It's about a soulmate connection. This is two people. All right. Um, com very compatible. This person may not fit the usual description, but they're a perfect match. I do feel like there has been a delay because a lesson had to be learned. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna find yourself with a player because we have player here until you learn your lesson about self worth. I like that. So anyhow, uh, we definitely have a new beginning here, stepping into a a, a new existence. Somebody has been hoping and praying for uh, happiness, and their wish is definitely about to be granted. I mean, I can't. It is what it is. And there's nothing to be ashamed of, okay? There's no shame, okay? We have a couple. We have one, two, three, four naked people here. When you see nakedness on a tarot card, there's nothing to be ashamed of. You can completely be yourself. 
You know, you can be yourself. You're comfortable. You can be comfortable. You can be yourself. You don't have to hide nothing. You know, this is this is a uh, partnership where you can be yourself. You don't have to pretend to be somebody that you're not. This is the end of a situation where there's been a lot of loneliness, whether you've been in a partnership or not. Because we have two people that are being brought together, okay? They are being brought together by an angel, these two people. It's like, are you sure? Yes. Yes. This is meant to be. So yeah, I mean, there's an unexpected choice in love. So yeah. There's a strong magnetic attraction. There's going to be a strong magnetic pull for these two people. There's a lot of uh, warmth in this union. You know, there'll be a lot of warmth. There'll be a lot of uh, happiness. There really will be. We have two people that are coming together that are meant to be together on the next journey, okay? That's the next journey. So it is, but it, the world card is the end of one, okay? It's the end of one. So there's an ending here for all of you that are holding on to the past. Absolutely not. That is leaving the past behind. Lesson learned. Going towards a soulmate, right? So yeah, I mean, the story has not changed. Somebody's about to receive communication or mess a lot of messages, more and more and more and more and more. Things are just gonna progress. Things are gonna speed up, okay? Get ready for things to speed up. Happiness, wish fulfillment, new beginning, the end of a chapter. What more can I say? Good luck.